The Rising Star. And you might recognize this persona as maybe someone who's fresh to their rule. Uh, and their expectation, they may have high expectations for you as a project leader, and they're expecting you to be their right hand or almost like a chief of staff sometimes, or at least in specific topics. They're often very open to advisement, and our challenge is really helping to drive them to action. We, do, we have to do a lot of managing up with this kind of persona. And as we do that, we have to be careful to come up with a broader perspective to bring historicals in and help engage this rising star in the process and help them understand that there's a way to, uh, a, a successful way to go about implementing a process to drive them to the right success point. Now their strengths, they're usually very open to change and can be very, very creative. And so that's great. And they can be very open to suggestion as well, but they do need a strong kind of quote unquote hand of the king sort of person to help them succeed. And, and that's your role and that can be a bit of work. We need to educate these, these uh, executives. We need to provide additional background and context for our data, kind of like big picture, but very often it's more process oriented. How did we get to where we are now where we have this decision and really providing strong background and context. Um, and we also often need to walk through the process that gets us up to a decision or an action and the process or the impacts that happen afterwards. Now, on a personal level, uh, we recommend really being prepared to teach the decision maker. Um, especially if you're a more experienced project leader and maybe this is a less experienced executive or someone newer to the role, you may actually find that you're in a, in a role where you're teaching them how to make decisions and it's a great opportunity for you to help them understand your framework and your process and really help guide and support them. Um, also, we recommend don't supporting or I'm sorry, don't, don't assume that they have background knowledge of how you do things, especially if they're newer to your team or newer to their role. Um, of course, be respectful. Don't assume they don't know it, but at least if you can, maybe walk some of the process or some, walk some of the journey to where you, you got to where you're asking your ask. All right. Um, our PM utility belt, we want to teach them the narrative. Uh, we want to give them the talking points because not only do we have to manage our conversation with them and teach them, we have to maybe help them with their conversation, maybe a little bit more than some of the other personas to talk that forward. Um, and so this is where coming up with, you know, not, a, not a well put together PowerPoint presentation to walk through the process to get uh, your, your, maybe your, your charter for your project or background and decision on some of the options, um, that kind of a thing where you're able to give them a narrative they can take forward can be extremely um, positive and extremely powerful for this kind of persona. And for this persona, we also find that leveraging historical data for past lessons learned to say, look, the last five times we did it, this was the result, here's how we need to take this forward, can be very, very beneficial. 